Hi Grace and Jude, so this is game in action. I want to obviously keep my uh, time in range well above 90% um, and the alarm's just gone off. Should be able to see that at 8.4. So for me, that's going to be about five to 10 minutes of any uh, exercise that I choose. Usually I do high knees, but we've got a rowing machine, so today I'm going to do rowing. It's probably it's about 2,000 meters rowing at a steady pace. Let's see how it goes and hopefully then in sort of 20 minutes it'll be back down as target. Let's see. So here we are on the rowing machine in the garage. Seven minutes, 2,000 meters. You get this blood sugar down. So here we have it. 2,000 meters on, just about eight minutes. And what I'm hoping is in about 10 minutes time or so, we'll start seeing the CGM change. Remember, you're not gonna see a change on the CGM straight away, because the, where the CGM is measuring is in the interstitial space, whereas the blood is five minutes, it's about five minutes behind the blood. So at the moment, it's now going from 8.4, 8.4 and rising to 8.3 and steady, so it's already had some effect, but you're not gonna see the true effect until about 15 minutes time. Uh, when the seed gems obviously caught up with the blood and then the exercise, which has now just been swishing all my insulin around my body um, to make it use, use faster and also open the side door to my muscles to allow the glucose in um, by the side door that doesn't require insulin. So that double effect and um, we should see a nice little drop in the glucose in 15 minutes time. And to put that into contrast, if I was to give a correction dose at 8.4 and rising, that's gonna take two hours to kick in, three hours to actually get me back down below weight, and then maybe even four hours to get me back down to say five. Whereas this is gonna get me close back down to six in a matter of sort of 20, 25 minutes. So obviously that's better glucose control, but it's less frustration on my, my behalf. If you're like me, when you're older, seeing that yellow sign on the high, um, is something that I don't particularly like. So if it's like that for two or three hours, um, yeah, I'm just not like keen on it. So we'll check back in. It's now, should be able to see quarter past two on there. By half past two, I'll be pretty confident that that's gonna be below seven on its way to sort of six, six and a half. Let's see. So it's now half past. I'm just gonna check the, uh, the CGM. What does it say, Grace? It says 6.0. Is that good? Yeah. 6.0 as predicted, and we'll see how it is in another 10 minutes. Okay, so about half an hour on now from when I did the exercise. So the exercise should have finished doing its job. And you can see it's 5.5 .5 and stable. Now you can also see on here, the bottom at two o'clock is roughly where it was done. Uh, the high alarm went off and then when the space of 15 20 minutes it was down it's only taken half an hour to steady out so that's the beauty of exercise it basically gets to kick in after 10 minutes it's done by 30 minutes um, and then you're back to target compare that to a correction dose takes three hours to get you back in target four hours down to for example five so that's why exercise is a fast mover between meals and corrections are a slow mover depends how much time you want in target i guess